This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com forward slash rogue and use promo code rogue to start your free trial and get 10% off your first purchase. Or OG, you eat. Hush, little burrito, don't you cry. Don't say no words or you're gonna die. I've got a shiv and it has your name. And if I get caught, it's you I'll blame. That was really good. <laughs> I didn't know if I could land that. <laughs> you nailed it. You nailed it, sir. All right, when we decided to do this episode, we called it a prison burrito. I did not realize that a prison burrito is the same thing as spread because I have had friends who have gotten out of minimum security prison and have cooked for me. They invited me and my wife over and we had a whole meal and they made a spread. So the moment I saw these ingredients, I'm like, I thought we were doing a burrito, not spread. This is spread? Yeah. I thought that meant something very different in prison. In prison, right. So uh, spread, is the way I had it was in a bowl. I guess when it's in a bowl and it's kind of loose, uh, it's spread, but we're gonna gonna condense it into like a fat carby bar. Yeah, kind of a, a paste almost, just a... Here's our base. Yep. This is our burrito. We're gonna take uh, a bunch of these Doritos and we need the bag too. So we gotta be careful with the bag, right? Now, I believe the recipes, we, we see multiple of them online. They all disagree. They're all different. We're gonna do our best guess on this. But in this case, this is more Doritos than we actually need, right? Yeah, and of course, like with any chips, if you look in there. It's mostly air. It's mostly air. Which, so here, uh, let's get rid of like a, maybe a little over half of that, you think? Okay, sure, just. Uh, so the first thing we do is uh, we're gonna mix this with the ramen. Okay, we gotta... do, do, do we, I know there's some crunching at some point. Do we crunch them all together or do we crunch them separate? Yes, uh, you mash that up. Okay. You can just mash it in the bag if right. you want. <sighs> can I confess something? Let's do it. I love ramen so much that I figured out that it, you take out this biscuit of ramen you run it under the tap, so it's all just wet. You open up that seasoning, and you just sprinkle that seasoning over. And you just eat it like a cracker. Really? The best thing ever. What? So good. Yeah, if it wasn't so high in sodium, <laughs> I would totally do that. <laughs> well, you can reg you can self-regulate. Just put a little bit on there. What's your What's your flavor of choice? Chicken or shrimp? Sometimes beef. So we, so want, yeah. it, we what, want it. What? All the way down to dust? Yeah. You okay. want to get it? I mean, the ramen is not so important that you get it to dust, but I think the burrito, since that's the main substrate. When I think of a burrito, I think of something wrapped in a flour tortilla, but we're we're subverting that. I mean, it'll be it'll be more like, um, like a, one Mali of those deep almost. fried burritos. Oh, like a chimichanga? Yeah, mm. right? Chimichangas are sacred. It's gonna be delish. All of the recipes that I've seen have the ramen. You can see the little chunks of ramen in there. You, you, and I would imagine you probably want a little bit of that texture. So here's the question. Are we gonna put in just part of a flavor packet or the whole flavor packet? I don't know, man, because those packets go a long way, right? They do, they do. And it's not like it's gonna be diluted with a whole bunch of water on there either. All right, are we adding this whole thing on there? I don't know, what, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you think? It's looking, it's looking that's, very- That's perfectly dusty. You think that's right? Yeah. All right, so what, add this? Yeah, go ahead and put that in there. So you mix all that up, I assume, right? Yeah, mix it all up real good. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and put uh, some Slim Jims in there. Some of the other recipes that we've seen have stuff like Cheez-Its or, you know, different flavored Doritos, Fritos, whatever you like. A lot of that sounds very carb-centric. Uh, this might be the only really robust part of the whole thing. I'm not getting too fancy. I'm just gonna make a bunch of little cubes from okay. Slim Jim. No, it's good. This is one of those moments where on paper, I should be all in on this because I love each of these individual ingredients, but I'm still a little bit afraid of the outside chance that it's just like I have one bite and I just die of salt poisoning. The sodium count in here is gonna be like at renal failure levels. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what, throw all these in there? Yeah, put them in there. We have the roast beef flavoring packet. You want to put half of it in there? That, I think that sounds good. Okay. It's a delicious gray color. <laughs> Look at that fine spread. This is the part where we add hot water, warm water? Very hot water. I okay, think. so yeah. should I zap this just shy of boiling? Yeah, yeah, okay. get, it, get it really good. Okay, I think we're just shy of boiling here. So how much are we, whoa, 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 wow. That was, all right, that all was right. a slip Ooh. and boiling water went on my hand. Everything's fine. Jeez, we're okay. all fine here. We're good. Ooh, okay. Uh, so do I fill it up to the line or uh, past it? Fill it, uh, yeah, you want to get everything wet, okay. but you don't want to get it too soupy. Okay. So it's kind of a guessing game, Okay. Right? All right, here we go. 
you know, it says pour hot water into the bag just enough to cover everything. What we do is we want to keep the heat in. This is hot. So make an airtight pocket okay. with uh, the Dorito bag, and then we're going to wrap it in this towel to preserve the heat and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, oh wow, okay. It's really pretty amazing how many of these recipes involve cooking something in a bag of Doritos. I'll tell you what, man, that Mylar is amazing stuff. That's part of the reason that people thought it was an alien that landed at Roswell is because in the 1940s, nobody had seen Mylar before. That's why you see these reports of like a strange type of metal that nobody has ever seen before. That was the Mylar from a weather balloon. Agree to disagree. Okay, all right. <laughs> go back, go back to your documentaries of ancient aliens. <laughs> Don't you throw that in my face. <laughs> oh, it's warm too. Okay, so let's wrap oh, it up. you're like swaddling your baby burrito. Swaddle your burrito, and then we're gonna sing to it. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. What do you think? Does it feel, does it feel, it feels still a little bit warm, but you can feel how firm it is. Is it firm? Is it a firm baby burrito? It's as firm as anything I'd get from Taco Bell, right? I mean. Actually, it does feel pretty warm. Yeah? I guess at this point, here, feel that. Is it too warm? Should we let it wait or? Ooh, it is, it is pretty warm, but you know, food's good when it's warm generally. Yeah? Okay, so. Let's see, what, you, oh yeah. Do we just bite this to get that started? Four? Use the little seal. Oh, the seal. Yeah. Smarter, smarter, that's smarter. Use your teeth to get it started. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they did online. <laughs> Hulk, sun's getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do this. Perfect. What a good baby burrito. <laughs> That's right. Who didn't call me out? That's right, you didn't. It's still very mushy. I feel like we can leave it out to dry for a while and it would be... <laughs> a little bit too much water. Go too on. Too much water. <laughs> what do you think? How does it taste? When you love all of the ingredients that goes into a thing, you tend to love the thing. Uh, I don't know. One time I put mayonnaise on a cherry pie. It didn't oh God, work so well. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe that thought is in my mind now. I have to bury myself in this delicious spread in order to make that go away. It's not bad. It does make a difference when you get a bite with the Slim Jim in there. It's mm -hmm. much better mm -hmm. with, with that meaty texture on there. I want to make this with like all sorts of other types of chips now. Ooh, dude, bunions. Oh, that sounds awesome. We haven't even done a weed episode. <laughs> We're going out of order. <laughs> We gotta pair this with the CBD oil. <laughs> right. I don't know how to rank this or rate it. Mm. It's edible. That's how I'm gonna rate it. <laughs> it's I actually, mean, I mean, you keep taking bites, I keep taking bites. It's not disgusting, it's got a good flavor. Here's to the it. important question Is the sum greater than all the parts? Would you rather have those individual ingredients or would you rather have it all together exactly like this? Uh, you know what? With a little bit of uh, sauce on here, like maybe some enchilada sauce or some sour cream, I don't know what you can get in the commissary or steal from the mess hall, but I think this would actually be better. I think it's better. It does. It, it, it does taste like a meal, it eats like a meal. It's delish. So I'm gonna say, well done, prison. Good job. And well done for you to not talking. All right, hit me up. Next big Halloween spooky thing. Go ahead oh. and go. Uh, it's uh, a crab. Guy on the bus that smells like soup. And he's got a crab in his fist. Sure. And when he gets near you, catchphrase, he whispers, uh, you got crabs. <laughs> <laughs> and if he looks at you and he says, have you shaved them? And you're like, what What are you talking about? Shaved. And that, that's all he keeps asking. He goes, have you shaved them? And then if you get too close, he, he'll go, you got crabs. Oh yeah, sorry. This is <laughs> terrifying. You're, yes. You like turned into some sort of bizarre David Lynch. Look man, thing. I'm a monster pitch man. That's how it works. But now we gotta get the word out. How do we get the word out for soup drinking crabman? If soup drinking crabman wanted to get the word out about his Halloween legend, oh, he would need yeah. a website. He would definitely need a website. And That's it would, the best way to do it. It would have to, look, he's not an HTML guy. No. He's, he's sitting on the bus drinking no. soup. You think he's got time to he, write all he, that? Instead of homing pigeons, he throws the crabs out there to spread his <laughs> message. It's really ineffective. So what he needs is an easy way to make a beautiful website that most importantly will scale because you know 
know what happens? You get reddited or all of a sudden you become a viral sensation. You need virtual servers that are going to scale with the excitement so it doesn't crash on you. Yeah, and uh, Squarespace has lots of tools uh, for getting your crab related and super related messages out there. Uh, they have podcast support, uh, mailing list uh, service, and uh, email campaigns oh. so you can manage right from their utilities. Eventually, he's going to want to sell soup drinking crabman merchandise. Yep. They got commercial solutions as well. So that's going to be really easy. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. But where does he go to get started? Uh, squarespace.com forward slash rogue. He can get 10% off his first purchase and get a free trial. Oh my gosh, so you're saying he can become familiar with all the tools and when he does decide to launch, all he has to do is do Rogue and he'll be supporting our show and getting a discount? Yeah, and getting uh, the crab soup revolution started. <laughs> I don't know what he calls it. But we're... <laughs> you're welcome, soup drinking crabman. Watch out for him too, don't ride the bus. <laughs> Money in the bank. Dorito Slim Gin Ramen, F Mary Kill. I would marry. The Slim Jim because it reminds me of Macho Man Randy okay, Savage. That is a very legitimate reason, but I would totally kill. Also, I did not kill Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> oh yeah! Prison burrito is ready.